This five-year-old boy playing with his puppy is one of the many suffering from nodding disease in Kitgum district. He is not fortunate enough to access a health center because his parents cannot afford to cover the transport costs. At the health center, these patients are waiting to see the doctors and nurses for help. But the health workers too are not familiar with the new disease and that's why the Ministry of Health has come in to train them with ways through which they can attend to the patients. We have uh, a team from Gulu Regional Referral Hospital and Gulu University, the medical school. And we have a team from Lira uh, Regional Referral Hospital. Uh, these are the team that is going to go to what converge to, to, to like give guidance, supervision, monitoring and conduct research on uh, this nodding syndrome. And that will give support to the people we are training. But how is this being conducted and why in Kitgum? Um, right now in the center in Kitgum Hospital, we have about 11 patients whom we randomly picked from out there to help us in getting hands-on training to the people who are going to manage the cases. They have also been reviewed by the consultants we have got. And, uh, and uh, we have seen them, some of them we may not need to take them back because those are the cases that need to be hospitalized. The health workers will be distributed in all health centers and help disperse the information learned through community outreach programs so that individual homesteads too can know how to take care of their own. However, the ministry insists this is not the solution to the disease. We continue handling this situation symptomatically. We know that these children end up with epileptic seizures. We know that uh, we have identified nutritional deficiencies and, and, and behavioral abnormalities. Now, the treatment that we are going to use and we are using now is geared towards ameliorating the nutritional issues and behavioral problems and controlling the scissors, which apparently continues damaging the brain and therefore leading to mental retardation. So if we can halt that as we look for the cause and eventually the treatment, I think it will, it's a very big progress. In the meantime, the Red Cross has come in to help supply food to the families affected in order to boost their immune system that will, in the long run, help their health get better.